All right, so we're here on the uh, giant wheel at the Iowa State Fair 2018. Thankfully, we're at the very bottom point of this situation because I'm afraid of heights. I'm not sure how it's going to feel up there, but this is feeling less scary than the sky glider, which is kind of like the ski lift that goes nowhere over there. Um, this isn't so bad. It's just a good way to get a lay of the land. Oh, wow, you can see the grandstand over there. That's where they play the concerts. Down there is the administrative building, the uh, varied industries building. Oh, God, we paused on the top. This fucking sucks. Oh, my God. We're here on the giant wheel at the Iowa State Fair. It was fun until Billy started moving, the cameraman. Billy, sit down. Sit down, you fucker. You're scaring the shit out. Billy, sit. I'm not fucking kidding. Billy, fucking stop moving. It's the only way to get the shot. Now I'm having panic attack and my hands are sweating and I'm gonna cry. I don't know why people think this is okay. This is torture. All right, so we left the fairgrounds and now we're in a neighborhood called the East Side. And every year, as is tradition, the people in the East Side turn their front yards into parking lots. So it's about a 15 block radius where everybody sort of just sets up shop for the duration of the fair. They put up signs, they have attractions, they have all kinds of tricks where they wave wands and bring people in to try to grab some money. And when I was a kid, I always wanted to kind of hang out in this area, but my parents being the way they were, were just like, all right, let's get in and get out. And I'd be meanwhile looking around, I'm like, whoa, what is that, what is that? You know, attracted to a subculture, and I never got to actually explore it. So uh, today, since I'm a grown up and don't have parents telling me what to do, we're gonna go hang out in the parking lots and take a better look at it. What's your name? Uh, Mrs. May. Mrs. May, I'm Dan. How you doing? Good. Is this an uh, exciting time of year for people on the east side? And what happens? I'm a to... diehard. Yeah? Do you go in at all? No, I ain't been in the fair for 20 years. Really? What do you guys do? You just hang out here all day? Yeah. It's kind of its own side party. Pretty much. Yo! <laughs> Five bucks! <laughs> they look for the free fuck. Five bucks! Oh, you got fun? Five bucks and you can be on TV too. Okay, come. Okay. Yeah, this is my first uh, transaction. <laughs> yep, it's my first time. There what is that? Go. That's a oh. All right. Yeah, you good? You good? Well, thank awesome. you. Thank you so much. All right, guys. <laughs> Have a good day. Yeah, yeah you too. Thank you. All right, and uh, who gets it? Give it to me. You get it. All right. <laughs> I just saw this guy's got a crazy TV on a light pole, so I gotta figure out what that's all about. He's working. Hey, I hope he doesn't hit me with that bat. Hey, how are you? Hey there. How are we doing? Good, how are you? Good. I, uh, I'm drawn in by your uh, TV. Tell me about it. It ran an aerial drop of power through the trees and then an aerial drop off my satellite dish through my medium line. And then you got TV here on the, yep. on the telephone pole. Can I have a seat here and Absolutely. kind of try out the whole Absolutely. scene? Absolutely. Yep, make sure the shade hasn't shifted out of the umbrella. Can I see the bat? So I'm just kind of feeling out the whole thing. I'm not going to ask for the other thing because I don't have a license for that. Yo, oh, get in here. Five bucks. Is it five bucks? I can get $10. Oh, oh 10. 10 bucks. sun's going down, people are starting to leave the fair and settle into their homes. There's about 2,000 to 3,000 campers here based on who you ask. As a kid, I never got to walk around in here because my parents wouldn't let me. So finally, I get to go do that, and I'm very excited. Howdy. You always camp here? Somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Is this your whole setup, just That's this trailer? It. That's it. What do you like the most about the fair? I just like the fair. You just like the fair. <laughs> That's good. It's a good fair. Howdy. Howdy is a really easy way to talk to people around here. Howdy. People respond to howdy. I say howdy to people in New York, they think I'm crazy. Howdy, folks. How you doing? What's going on? Cheers. Happy beer. Thanks for the hospitality. Hey. We'd have chicken, but I ate it all. You ate all the chicken? Yeah. I'm invi not inviting you to my party. There you go. <laughs> so you're saying if I wanted to actually get a spot in here, there's a 20-year waiting list? Yes. 
And people leave their RV spot in the will. Yes. So the kids don't fight about it or anything. That's amazing. So, I See, that's something I had no idea. Yeah. I kind of assumed it was just kind of first come, first serve on an annual basis. You can land rush in here. The trouble is you might not have electricity or water. Yeah, I had no idea it was that. Well, there's, what, is 3,600 campers here. They said it's like the third or fourth largest state or city in Iowa when the campground is going with all the people here and stuff. <laughs> That's amazing. What is it? Yeah, I'll have a sample. What do we got here? Grape Kool Aid? Yeah. Mmm. Mixed with KC? What's KC? Oh, no, that's the children's drink. Got it. That's it's kitty cocktail. We're in the lighting contest tonight. Yeah, what's up with the lighting contest? How many people compete? Oh, well, well there's been as many as, I think, seven. Wasn't there seven the one year? Three, Do you get free camping we then for the next year. year? You get free camping if you win? Yeah. yeah. That's worth trying. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. Well, geez. We I don't got know. some gimmicks, so we're hoping that work out. Do you want to rehearse it at all? <laughs> the song, well, yeah. We, you can if you want to. It's up to you. Well, I got to get it playing here. Let me get it playing. <laughs> yeah. He just kind of sings over the world. I just sing over it. And when it happens, it took me by surprise. I knew that you felt it too. <laughs> by the look in your, oh, wait a minute. Buffering. This magic moment. So different and so new was like any other until I kissed you and then it happened. It took me by surprise. I knew that you felt it too. By the look in your eyes. I have to admit I'm a little bit sad that this is winding to a close for us. We tried to show you as much as we could, but there's just honestly no way to do it. I don't want to sound like I'm advertising for it. Maybe just find a fair somewhere that you can go to because this is kind of like when the world is so messy, you can sometimes just go have fun with your friends in the community and have a good time. So that's it. I'm Dan from Vice. This is the Iowa State Fair. You don't have to go to this one, but you should go to a fair or you should at least just care about your community. That's it. Thank you.